Today we are going to learn about subtracting zero. We are going to learn about how to do subtraction problem that have the number zero. Before we can start with subtracting zero we have to know what subtracting means. So what does subtracting mean? Subtracting is when we take numbers away. Let's look at quick example. This is Max and Max has two dogs. How cute they are. He gives one dog to his friend. He subtracts one of the dog. He had two, but he gave one away. And now how many dogs does he have after subtracting one? Yeah. He only has one dog left. He had two dogs and he subtracted one dog. Took one dog away and he just has one. So two minus one equals one. Subtracting then is taking numbers away. Now how do we subtract the number zero? First we've to find out what is zero. What does the number mean? Zero means there aren't any. Let's start with an example. Imagine you have five apples. If you don't take any apples away, how many apples do you have? That's right. You still have five apples because zero means nothing was taken away. Here's another example. You have eight balloons. If no balloons fly away, how many balloons are left? Yes! All eight balloons are still there. Zero didn't change the number. You see, zero is fun. It means there are none. If zero means there aren't any, then that means when you subtract zero you take away nothing. Let's see some subtraction problems. Seven minus zero equals seven. 3 minus 0 equals 3. 15 minus 0 equals 15. Let's test your skills with a quick quiz. Ready? What is 8 minus 0? Correct. It's 8. What is 20 minus 0? Awesome. It's 20. What is 100 minus 0? You're amazing. It's 100. Great job, everyone. Remember, subtracting zero means the number stays the same. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in our next math adventure. Until then, keep learning and keep shining. Great job learning today!